Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. As you've guessed by the title, this is a vlog. Now I haven't done one for ages and ages, so I thought just before Christmas, let's um, show you guys what we're up to. We've also got some awful sad news really about Phoebe. She's had a bit of an accident at school and broke her ankle. So uh, that's been, that's taken up really the past quite a few days. It happened a few days ago. Um, she's all sorted now. She's at home. She's got a cast on her leg. Uh, it's a hard cast, but they've kind of left a little bit open at the front because it was so swollen. And um, it was really, really dreadful. She did it at school. And without going into too much detail, she did it at lunchtime. And I wasn't told about it until I picked her up at half three because they didn't think she'd done that much to it. So uh, we won't go down that road. But as you can imagine, as a parent, I... Uh, was quite worried and not um, not best pleased. So I am just hoping that um, she's going to be all right. It's a clean break on her ankle, so it should heal okay. So they've said we've got to go back to the fracture clinic after Christmas. So unfortunately, all of Christmas and her birthday, because it's her birthday on the 2nd of January, when you guys that have been with us for a while will remember it's her birthday after Christmas, as is Courtney's as well. Um, but unfortunately she is um well out of action we've got some crutches and but i've also borrowed a wheelchair because we wanted to take her out somewhere and she's finding the crutches quite difficult the cast is really heavy so i thought if we can just give her a little spin around in this wheelchair that would be quite good i don't really want her to miss out that's the thing we were going to take her to a garden center on saturday so hopefully we can still take her there um, so we will pop in and see her so you can see how she is. She's managed to get downstairs a couple of times, but the stairs are quite tricky for her. So she's just been sort of sitting in my bed or sitting in her bed uh, with her foot up and watching the telly. So bless her heart. It's um, a little bit of a different time th than what she had planned, but um, we've just got to go with it. Also, Courtney doesn't live with us. I don't know if you probably remember that. Courtney's one of my other daughters. She lives with a, a boyfriend, Jack, about an hour away. And she has just tested positive for COVID as well. So we're just hoping that the time works out and she's able to come and see us after Christmas. She hadn't planned to be with us on Christmas Day anyway. Um, she had planned to come after that. So I'm just hoping that that still works and that all still falls into place. Uh, so that's happening. Chloe's obviously very busy. She's got little ones. Her partner, Liam, has a little girl as well. So they're all in the throes of Christmas. And it's wonderful when you've got young children. It really makes it magical. So they're busy doing uh, their usual Christmas things. I know Chloe's been making lots of things with the kids and doing lots of craft things. So, and they love that. They're always baking cakes and doing, you know, bits and pieces like that. I should be seeing Chloe on Christmas Day. Um, we're not having a Christmas dinner together but she all being well she'll be coming to see me in the afternoon for a little while so it's going to be a bit of a different Christmas this year I know we've vlogged lots of our Christmases with you guys in the past um, as I mentioned to you I'm not going to vlog Christmas this year I just want to enjoy it I just want to soak it all up I've got obviously the two girls at home with me Phoebe and um, Eb so I'm just, we're just going to enjoy it and uh, my mum's coming round for Christmas dinner. My mum comes to us every single year and uh, she will help out with the turkey, no doubt. Um, being a mum, she's done many a turkey and Christmas dinners in her time, so we'll be a good team together. But that's it, really. I've started... Uh, well, my Christmas presents are almost all wrapped. I ran out of sellotape this morning. Chloe's going to drop some in, in, in very shortly. So I've near enough bought i think i've probably actually bought everything now and i've got just a few little tiny bits and pieces to wrap up which i'll do when co drops the sellotape off i am um making a few things for presents i'm doing some coasters uh what else am i doing making a few treats and things as well like tasty treats things that we've seen on the channel before that are quite favorites really in the family so i'm going to be making those and giving those as presents it's really tricky when you've got um a family that doesn't really like my brothers they don't really need anything and they're and they're their partners so it's really difficult to know what to get them so it'd be nice if we, we we've been kind of making little bits for each other and, and doing stuff like that so um that'll be nice so christmas is as i say it's going to be different 
Boxing Day, not quite sure how that's going to work out. The girls will be going with their dad, so don't really know. I was on my own last Boxing Day, actually. So uh, it be pretty much the same this year, I would say. But I have bought myself some new PJs. So my plan is to put the PJs on when they've gone and uh, get loads of snacks, put some films on and put my feet up and just chill. So that's my plan for Boxing Day. There's going to be, I might even pour a glass or two of wine and just sit and have a chill. With Phoebe's foot the way it is, we don't know how that's going to work out. So I'll have to be careful and be on standby. Maybe there'll be no glasses of wine because I've got to go and pick her up or something. I don't know. We'll just work it and play it by ear. Um, but it's going to be lovely. I've got my Christmas tree up. I'll show you that in a second. Got some wrapping to do. We'll do that in a second. As I'm doing some coasters, I'll show you those. Um, Ebbs is making a Christmas cake this year. She's been in charge of the Christmas cake. So it's made and we made it quite a few weeks ago and we've been feeding it and it's in a plastic tub. So I've got the marzipan, the apricot jam and also the icing to go over the top. That's all we've got so far. So I think what she's going to do is do that. She'll perhaps do that today and then work out what she's going to decorate it with on top of that. So I'm just letting her do it. It's her thing this year. She loves driving home for Christmas, so she did want that kind of theme, but we thought the decorations might be a bit pricey, so I'm not sure what we're going to do. So we'll just we'll just see. But other than that, we are all absolutely fine. Carl's going to come around and see the girls on Christmas morning. Everything is all fine there. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really nice time. We just want to have a relaxing Christmas. Want to enjoy it, and I think sometimes. I can only speak as being a mum, so I don't know what it's like to be a dad, but Christmas can be so much hard work and you end up not really being, it's not a holiday because you're just constantly organising, constantly sorting. There's so many things to remember. I'm really quite organised this year. I've got lots, I think it's all in place. I've even started sort of doing the homemade, handmade things and, um, you know, I'm quite looking forward to just chilling and just spending a bit of time. Just fingers crossed Courtney's okay and everything runs smoothly so I get to see her on Boxing Day even in the morning for a short time before she goes to her dad. Um, so I'm just hoping I get to, to see them because as you know I love my girls so it wouldn't be Christmas without them but um, I do know they have to do their own thing and if they're poorly they can't really help that anyway. So that's it so we'll nip downstairs now and I'll show you the coasters that um, I'm doing and um, you can share the day, the day and we'll also go and pop and see Phoebe as well. Right now present wise a few things these are the last few bits and bobs I've got to wrap up I think. I've done the girls Christmas Eve boxes they're all finished can't show you them because they look at this video so I can't show them. So these are the last bits I've got for Alfie and Izzy. Um, I've wrapped all the other bits up that's a Paw Patrol can't see it there can you that's a Paw Patrol toy he loves Paw Patrol and Chloe is really not going to appreciate me for this is she in fact she might want to keep it at, at Nanny's house so a Peppa Pig really noisy toy that parents hate so and then there's a few other bits and bobs in that bag to wrap up as well so I might just do those now uh, and then I'll probably start um, on the baking let me show you the Christmas tree. It's the same tree as last year, exactly the same decorations. I've got my beautiful angel on the top. I don't know if you remember us getting her. Let me know if you do. We bought her from, was it Home Sense? I think we did. I think that was the shop we got her from. We've got some lights outside as well. And there's a few presents under the tree. We're doing a secret Santa with a few of my friends, so it's really nice. There's been quite a few of us and we've um, exchanged gifts, so mine down there is that red one that's my secret santa so i'll open that on christmas day and mart's in it as well you know mart from youtube and we're, we're making mart wait because he gets so excited and he opens all the presents but see i've told you all you guys that you need to that he's supposed to wait as well so he can't cheat now because you all know be on his case make him wait that's a little centerpiece that i made and there's the girls' stockings. Two. There's only two left. Ebony and Phoebe. It's awful as a parent, you know, when your kids start and grow up. But I do understand they've got their own lives. I'm not one of these parents that's like, you must come and see me. You have to do this, that and the other. They really must do what they want to do because I know they will come and see me. So there's a the Santa's milk. I've got the green one as well, but I'm going to give that red one to Chloe, I think. For her little ones. So 
that's the uh, the living room I'm just going to start and wrap those bits up now okay so I am just at the table just doing some coasters I have actually done a video on these before so they're just um, MDF bits of wood I actually bought them already done with the corners rounded I've painted them put some decoupage just some napkins over the top and all I'm using now is some wax wax finish varnish and I'm just going over just a few coats over the top and this will seal it in. Let me show you the varnish that I'm using. It's this polyvine one. It's not cheap, but it is it's quite a good varnish. So I'm just doing these and then I'll put the cork on the bottom at the back. I've got some sticky cork when um, that's all finished. But literally we have somebody on FaceTime. If I just pop this down and bring it in. There we go. So Courtney is winging her way due to technical difficulties, difficulties. <laughs> where was i going with that and why is she quiet ebbs oh we need to turn the volume talking. Up. hello hello how are we how are you feeling i'm okay i've got the rona you yeah, have got the rona but i've got no symptoms so i'm i'm a-okay that is very very good. Next video will be in three days when she's laying on yeah. the bed dying. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, on hopefully you were uh, you haven't jinxed it then by saying you're okay. I've lost my appetite. You've lost your appetite. Yeah. Can you smell? Can you smell anything? Yeah, burning. Yeah, burning. Burning would be good. Yeah, Phoebe could smell burning and taste burning for ages afterwards. Burning this morning. Oh, oh, that's not a good sign. Burning toast. Bernito. So we're going to uh, just plod on, aren't we? See how it goes. But see, Courtney's still in a video, guys. See you in a bit. See you later. Right, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to start and make the Rocky Road in a minute. Again, I'll pop the recipe for this in the description because I've made these on the channel before. But I just wanted to show you what I'm up to in the kitchen. I've bought some of these really cute tins. These came from Home Bargains. And in previous years, I've made like a fruit loaf and given that in a tin as a present. But I thought these would make really nice tins to put some treats in. So I've got a few of those to give out. And also, I'll show you these. I bought these from, I think these came, all came from B&M. I've got some cupcake boxes. So you get four boxes and each box holds six cupcakes. So they were £2 from B&M. And I also bought some of these paper baking cases as well. They were 115, you get 36 in there. So they will go perfectly with those. And also some of these Christmas decorations, these were from B&M too. So I thought they'll be nice, there's a bit of glare on there, sorry. So we can do those. What I'll we'll probably do is like a, maybe a chocolate cupcake with some chocolate frosting, and then just pop one of these on the top, do them up pop them in the boxes and then give those as presents. And they're really good to give people that you just don't know what to buy. Um, I just also want to say thank you to one of my subscribers, Helen. She was Ebony's Christmas card swap last year and she sent this beautiful card. She popped a little handmade gift in there as well for her. So she's uh, made that and it's come all the way from Australia. We've had that a little while, but just wanted to say thank you, Helen, for that because that's really, really kind of you to think of our Ebbs. So... What I'm going to do is make up the Rocky Roads. This is Ebony's Christmas cake. I'll just bring this in. So that's been sitting in there for quite some time. Getting all rich and moist in there. Um, so we will decorate that shortly. I've got all my fudge bits and pieces over on the other side of the kitchen. That takes ages. So I have to get ready with my arm to stir that because you have to stir it for ages and ages. Um, but yeah, I'll make a start on the rocky road now. Incidentally, before anyone asks me where I got this worktop saver from, my brother's actually made it and um, gave it to my dad. And my dad gave it to me not long ago because he didn't uh, he didn't need it in his office anymore. So and he didn't have room for it. But it is lovely, isn't it? What a cool chopping board. So before I get asked, I'll tell you because I know people will ask about it. So I'm just going to measure these out and we'll make a start. Right, so I've got the... Uh, the chocolate condensed milk and the butter in the microwave that's just doing and i've got most of the other ingredients here i actually made these vegetarian for courtney so what i did was substituted the marshmallows for some vegetarian marshmallows and i bought those from holland and barrett and then with the turkish delight 
I used some cherries. So if you want to make these veggie, then you can do that. So I'll just pop the rest of those in there. And you see, I don't like Turkish Delight, but I actually like them in this, which is really weird. So bear that in mind if you don't normally like them. That's that. So I'll just see how that's going in the microwave. You have to do it in short bursts of 30 seconds. So and then give it a little stir. Honestly, they're so easy to make. It's unbelievable. So you just, it's just really the microwave that you're using. You just stir it round until everything's melted. Super, super easy cooking. So now I'm just going to pop the other ingredients in there. Give it a good old mix. And I've lined a tin anyway at the side. So. I've got some tablets. I don't know if I told you, I've got tennis elbow. I think it's a sign of the times. 43 years now, I say at least. I think when you're at 40, everything starts breaking. Your body, doesn't it? So I'm going to definitely have some tablets before I start making the fudge because you have to stir that for so long. So this is the Rocky Road. Honestly, it's it's devilish, this, because it is so nice. It's so tasty. I, um, I've got no willpower when it comes to things like this at all. So just mix it in, just make sure I've got all the bits mixed in. Oh, also I want to say thank you to Hayley for my Christmas card because that came today as well. She sent a beautiful card to us. Right, so let's pop that in there. Just pull it in. And I think what I'm gonna do is make the fudge next. And then Ebs wants to do her Christmas cake. So I just flatten this out. And then this has just got to go in the fridge. This is as easy as it is. Or as hard as it is, should I say. Just pop that in the fridge. I like to leave it in overnight just so it makes it set properly. And that's it. That's it done. So, delicious. Right, we're on to the fudge now. So, I've got the sugar evaporated milk and butter and salt on the hot. I'm just going to start and heat that in a second, but I'm just getting the chocolate and the marshmallows ready as well. Now, there seems a lot of ingredients here because there is. I'm doing like a double batch of it, so I've got a big tray that I use. So they're already there. I'll just pop over to the hob now. I like to measure all these bits and bobs out because when you put the vanilla essence and the chocolate in, it's quite close to the end, so I like to get them all ready. So what's this one? Four and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So I'll just pop this in here. So that's all done. In there. So I did think about also making a sultana like fruit loaf that I make. So I might make one of those for my dad as well because he really likes that. So I'll perhaps do that and get that ready with all his things. But I don't think you can beat homemade, can you? Especially if they taste nice. Here's the pot of goodies. Look all that sugar. It's really bad for you. It's, um, yeah, not for people on a diet or just maybe have a tiny little bit. So all you've got to do is melt this down. It doesn't take too long to melt down. It's the... Um, once you've got like the marshmallows in it that's what takes ages you have to stir it and stir it and stir it for at least half an hour so i'll just melt this down and then pop those in all right that's all melted now you just have to make sure that it's not grainy on the back of a spoon and then put your marshmallows in now i don't bother putting the small ones in oh we've got some escapees i um just use the big one so all you've got to do is just stir that in, keep stirring it for what feels like forever in a day and until it gets like a fudge consistency. Then you put your chocolate in when you've took it off the heat and your vanilla extract and then just pour into a lined baking tray and then that is the fudge all ready just to set overnight. Right, so that's ready for the chocolate now and you just have to stir it take it off the heat and just stir it continuously till the chocolate all melts but because it's so hot it doesn't take very long at all and then once that's all in you just put your 
vanilla essence in. Oh, it's tiring cooking this. Right, so now you've just got to pour it in the tray. Once it's cooled down, you can pop it in the fridge. I'm getting it all over the handle now. Anyway, you get the idea. There we go, it's in the tray, so I'm just going to leave that now and then pop that in the fridge and I can cut that tomorrow. Right, on to the next thing now. I'm going to make some of these little fruit loaves. I'm absolutely shattered now, um, but I'm going to make these. I've got my wet ingredients in here. Just got to warm up the water so the basically so the sultanas kind of swell and that's how they get nice and juicy. And then when they've um, done that, I will add the dry ingredients and also a couple of eggs to the mixture as well. So and then I'm just going to put those in a couple of loaf tins. All right, here she is. The poorly leg. You come down. What face is that for? She's laughing at you, isn't it? She's not laughing at you. No, she's laughing at you, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> you just want to get her to try this there, out then. in a minute. So tell us how you feel, Phoebes. Well, my leg feels pins and needly. No, nope, that's not good. But I mean, not saying my leg like that, so. So she's got a hard cast on around here so it's all hard all the way around there there's a thin bit that they've left going up there and then this part on her foot is open because there was quite a lot of swelling on her foot so all this all around here is all hard and what they did is put this bandage all the way around it so I don't want to pull it but it's just a normal cast under there and she's just got to literally rest it she's been upstairs in a bed well all yesterday and most of today, it's tea time now, she's just come downstairs. So, um, yeah, it's been a bit tricky, isn't it, Phoebes? Not the Christmas and the birthday you had planned. But um, should be good fun nevertheless. So we're going out on Saturday. We've got us some special wheels we've borrowed. I'm going to spin You're not in charge of driving, are you, yeah, surely? Yeah, she is. Is she? Yeah, you heard it Oh, she gets the choice because she's got the right hand. Oh, my poorly girl. You're gonna have a little practice then. Is she driving? The only thing is, this wheelchair is a bit broken. We borrowed it, and that doesn't clip on there. Yeah, we will need to tape it because I had a little try on it, and that's proper annoying. You're gonna do any wheel spins in it? Right, come on now. Right, get your lumpy leg down. Be careful. Oh, okay. leg. Careful. Right, get your it's crutches. Just be careful. Don't rush. <laughs> we can zoom you about in that, Phoebes. Do you know what? Um, gypsy roses, mate. <laughs> 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 I can't say that. She's not, no, she is fine, but she look but that thing's broken. Her leg's gonna end up the other side of the room. <laughs> spin me, spin me. No, we can't mm. spin you. We can tell that cow pole's my working. Mum's not looking. Look, and if you wanted to, you could do it yourself. Oh bless her. Yeah, so you yeah. Want to on. a bit. And then on the other side we can oh, do guys, it. I'm, I'm going away. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm moving out. Where to? Look at oh, 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 <laughs> oh, Phoebe. Good job it wasn't both ankles. Watch me sofa. Well, yeah, you pull that and then your wheels stop moving. Because if you move it too far. Can someone just turn me over there so I can come back from there? Well, there isn't enough room, I don't think, to get one there. But Ebbs has sorted these crutches out, put a bit of extra. I love crutches. They're horrible, aren't they? Look, look at the sellotape she's put around. How many pairs of fluffy socks right. are on there? On each. No, they were hurt. Now that <laughs> well, they hurt in her hand, weren't they? See, it's not as bad as what you thought, is it? It's going to help I'm you to. I'm going to park it. Get about. Oh, oh no. Right. She likes. She wants to drive, don't she? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park it. The sofa is one parking space. Oh no. Look, I pulled in. <laughs> She's so weird. I'm going to reverse park. <laughs> Parallel park. Oh, how is she doing this? You are good at it, Phoebes. So I should blow my mind a bit how good she is. Perhaps I'm you're actually going to get in the line, okay? Right. You'd be really good as a, a driver, parking in your parking Pick spaces. Up. You're good at this, Phoebes. 
reverse parking and all. Should we put some tinsel on it? Put Can we? Fairy lights and tinsel. Oh, oh can we, right. Phoebe? I'm in charge yeah. of that. You're in charge of festive in a pair of crutches and yeah. a I'm chair. I'm going to put bows on your car. I did it. Oh, Mum well said she'll let me put bows on your car soon there Christmas. I did it. Did I? Yeah. She did. All right. I did it. Well done, Faye. Oh, sorry. I think someone's worn herself out now. Are you tired? I went, I'm worn out on my leg. I'm not like sleepy in the eyes. No. Just worn out in your leg. I think you're due some more medicine soon. Anyway, there's your drink. But you're okay in yourself. Yeah. You are. Ebbers has been looking after you, hasn't she? And she's gone with Dad and you're missing her a bit, aren't you? Is it is it um, itchy yet or not? Yeah, no, it, it did it on the first day. Really, already? You have to get like something and poke it down and, it's and like scratch right, it. It's like right at the bottom. Yeah, gosh. And then like sometimes it's just like there, I'm like... Oh, it's really annoying, isn't it? You're going back upstairs to bed soon? Yeah, not that, yeah, because I can't bother. No, it's boring up there, isn't it? Right, well, Mum will finish off tidying up in the kitchen. I've made me malt loaves. I'll wrap them up tomorrow so Grandad can take it on Saturday. And that's it. Right, back in bed now. Having a little rest. You said earlier on it felt like your foot was bleeding, didn't you? Yeah, no, it does feel like it's bleeding on my heel. On your heel bit. That's painful. Just had some more medicine, haven't you? You had a real burst of energy earlier on, but... That was because I was... About you are spinning about, I know, and your medicine was working as well. But back in bed, give it a little rest now, can't you? Rest your foot up, it does help having it up. You've had it up all the time, haven't you? So, what are you going to watch on telly? She's got her own Christmas tree look over there, and a little tub of fidgets. Look at all those fidgets. You did, yeah. Right, is he going to sit and have a little chill now, pal? Watch a bit of telly. The dog's come in to sit with you. <laughs> it's the next morning now, and I want to show you my coasters. They're all completely finished. So what I've done is I've just wrapped them up with a bit of string, put a tag on, and just put a couple of bells. I thought that was quite cute. So they're all done now, so they can go with the other bits and pieces. I made the malt loaves, I've wrapped them up just to keep them moist and okay. We're having that one, so we're keeping that one and that one's going to be for my dad. So what I've done is I've ordered some, it's like Christmassy festive paper, but it's um, it, it's like greaseproof paper with a pattern on. So I've ordered that from Amazon, so when that comes I can wrap all this up. Um, this is the Sticky Rocky Road, that's just come out of the fridge. So what I need to do to, to cut that is just leave that out of the fridge for just a little while because it's too hard otherwise. And then the fudge, the same thing with that, that will have to stay out for a while because it's just too, too hard. Now, when I cut the fudge up, what I'm going to do is to transfer it into another tub. But I'll put some layers of like greaseproof paper in between just so it doesn't stick together. And I always say it's best to keep this um, fridge in the fridge when you've got it I think it tastes nice so it doesn't get warm and sort of stodgy and horrible so it's nice um, to do that so I'll leave these out for a little while we, we've got the tins obviously I've got all the tins here that I'm going to be doing but I'm not going to be packaging them all up yet because I'm going to make another batch of this next week when it's a little bit closer to Christmas the fudge will be fine until then there's so much sugar in it it'll be fine and in fairness probably this would be but I'm going to make some more ready for the people closer to Christmas's presents. I've just made this because I need to give it to my dad um, earlier. So and that's it. Once the stuff arrives from Amazon, we'll start and um, wrap that up. But for now, we'll just cut this and prepare it ready. Right, so I've done the rocky road. I'm just portioning up the fudge now. And I will put that in a tub in a second. And as I said to you, I've put some of the greaseproof paper 
um, in the bottom. See any of these little extra bits like that? I'll put them to one side. They get little treats, aren't they? This is the uh, the box, so I've just put those in there. Put some grease proof paper just to keep it separate like that. Um, I'll do exactly the same for this. I've got a big tin for this, and um, that's them all done. I also just want to show you this card that I got from Mart as well. This arrived in the post today, so thank you so much for the Christmas card, Mart. Come on then, come and say hi. Izzy, what does Santa say? What does Santa say, Izzy? She looks so much like Chloe when she was little. She doesn't she? She does. She's enjoying her biscuit. You know what he says. What does Santa say? You gonna tell Nanny? Do you know what he says, Alfie? Say ho ho ho. What have you put got? It in there. Nanny does put a, <laughs> <laughs> a camera in there, doesn't she? <laughs> you bought it in for me. Alfie, who's coming soon? Santa. Santa? What does Santa say? Ho, ho, ho. He does. <laughs> Have you been a good boy? No. Nah. Are you going to get lots of presents? No. Nah. Are you? You be careful. Have you been a good girl? Look at the bit. There's more biscuit around her face than there is in her. I won't do that. Is he? <laughs> you got more biscuit in your mouth. Oh. Are you doing it as well? Izzy, what does Santa say? Hi, hi, hi. Izzy, say it. What does Santa say? You've gone all quiet for for once in your life. You're, you're hi, really hi. not shy. Say ho, ho. Izzy. No. Are you sharing it with Alfie? Izzy's not shy. She's little. She is little, yeah. She's little, but she's... I say ho, But she's not shy, is she? You share it with Alfie. Do you not want it? He's running away. You go get him. <laughs> the thing is, if we have backup when we have you here as well. Yeah. Reliable. <laughs> oh, mom. Mom. Oh, my mom. God. Mom. Oh, mom. Do I want to know? Is he in the wheelchair? Look. Oh, no. <laughs> Push her, are you? Come on, push her then. Nanny's sofa might not come out very well. What are you doing? That's not right. You pair, honestly. You want Alfie to sit there with you? Oh, that's the dog's bed in the way. I need it out of the way. You need it out of the way, yeah. You could have asked me to move it. That's it. Well, what fun. Oh no. Oh, Ebony. Can I have eaten a biscuit? You're too close to the sofa, that's why. Uh -huh. Oh, so when that big scratch goes down my. Uh... You can push it. You right, Izzy? You like the Queen sitting in there? Where are you going? Eating your biscuit. Oh, by the way, I need to straighten You're my stuck. Hair. My hair doesn't normally look like that. No, I need to straighten my hair. Uh, Izzy, what does Santa say? Tell Nanny. What does Santa say? Never. Say ho, ho, ho. She's got a camera, she? she has. Well, you be careful. Oh, she's got leather leggings on. <coughs> I know. Sit down. You got some biscuit there. Isabella loves climbing. So we wouldn't leave her with this. She'd use it as a ladder, wouldn't she, Ebs? Yeah. Did you write chicken in the wheelchair? Right, you can't push I think it she does. I think you've way. gone to the end now. Why? Because the oh, trees everything's there. why, by the way. What for? Why? <laughs> have you seen Phoebe? You haven't seen Phoebe yet, have you? Phoebe's got a poorly leg. Where is her? Where is her? She's upstairs. Why? Because she's poorly. It told you why. Because she's poorly. She's got a poorly leg. Do you want to see Phoebe? Yeah. Come on, Mum. It's a good job I haven't vacuumed today with all those biscuit crumbs. Should we go see Phoebe? Yeah. 
Come on then. Good girl. Up we go. So find Phoebe. You love Phoebe, don't you? There's Phoebe. You waving to Phoebe? Yeah, look, she hurt her leg. Why? Look, is he? Why? Is he? Oh. Oh, you spotted the dollies. That's it. They're as big as you, is he? <laughs> How are you feeling, Phoebes? Bit rubbish. Oh, up you get. It's because the dollies are bigger than you, is he? Have you seen Phoebe's leg, Alfie? Look at it. Come and look at Phoebe's leg. Oh, they're attacking your toys, Phoebes. I'm sorry. Oh, Alfie, look, feel look. it. Alfie. Look at him. Yeah. Don't touch this. Look. It's hard. Oh. All the way down. Because Phoebe hurt her ankle and you have to be really careful. What do you think? <laughs> Poor Phoebe. You have to look after Phoebe now. Why? Why? Why, why do you think? <laughs> why do you think? Yeah, why do you think you've got to look after her? Because she's poorly. Look, Alfie, Izzy's bought you something, Phoebes. Phoebe's not allowed to put walk on her foot. She has to have it up. And she has to use these. They're called crutches. Can you see them? With some fantastic socks on them. A million pairs of socks. Look, she's pretending, Phoebes. But we're going down to the church today, aren't we? To see your, um, to see your, your class... Um, church service oh, it's the last day so we're going down for an hour we're going to push you down and then you're going to hobble in on your crutches into the church but the school's looking forward to seeing you so that'll be nice oh no it's going to break those window wipers again no, right don't press that it. She it. oh blong me so that's it are you going to say bye Alf are you going to say bye bye? Who to? Say bye to Nanny's phone. Bye. Say bye to Becky's crafts and goodies, friends. She's bye. waving her. Why? Why? She always wants Phoebe all the time. Can you manage? Drop me to get her. Oh, your muscles. Oh, you really want to watch that, don't you? Oh, you be careful of Phoebe. Oh. Right, so it is Friday. We've been to the school because it was Phoebe's Christingle service at the church. So we went along. Look at what I did. Put her tight so they fit perfectly under her. Perfect. What a genius. No one will ever know. And uh, it was nice to see the head teacher and your teacher. And what have they given you, Phoebes? They gave me this. Bag with loads of um, goodies. Goodies. Got some goodies in there. Do you want to show us? So, this is a card with all the kids' names in there. Handmade card, yeah. And then it's got a little pencil, chocolate coin. I'm not sure what that is. Are you sure it's a pencil? Yeah, it's a pencil. It's like a ginger spready something that we need to find out what it is when we open the bag. Yeah, we'll open it in a minute. And I've got a candy cane and loads of like chocolate Santas and a biscuit. That biscuit looks nice, not gonna lie. Oh, there's a waterfall biscuit. There's, there's a, all sorts in there. There's a good bag of treats in there. Yeah, and then it's got an ornament. You made that, didn't you? That was School. I put it on the tree. And then chocolate Santa. Chocolate yeah, Santa. Milk. Yeah. So that's a little vlog that um, I think Bits and Bobs have been getting up to in the, no, in the last uh, few days. But your friends were very happy to see you. Everyone's like, Phoebe. They and were. teachers were sure happy Christmas too. And we got yeah. to listen to the well, church service, didn't we? So sang some songs. We did. I love that one. <laughs> But Everybody the knows the world, world that. The world, the words. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. The whole wide world. No. He's got the whole world in his hands. Yeah, right. That's it. That's it. So thank you for watching. I hope you're all okay. I hope you have a lovely Christmas. I'm I sure we will. see you in the new year.
care. We will. Take care. Bye. Bye.